hello guys welcome to the channel so today we are going to do a data set which i have taken with linear regression so let's start so first of all i have imported those the libraries that were required for this uh, these last two uh, uh, commands are nothing but uh, these are used to increase the rows and columns commander sometimes uh, there is uh, uh something that uh, all the columns did not show like uh, from uh, here i was uh, uh, i was seeing only dot 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 uh, not all the columns as these are over here i have uh, df dot shape so it has 81 columns and a 2073 rows the problem was that it was not showing all the rows and columns so that's why i have uh, written these two commands uh, these will help you show all the columns and rows that you need to be seen so yeah uh, first of all i have imported the data set which i have stored in this location then i have checked its shape that is using df dot shape so here we have 2073 rows and 81 columns so this is a very much big data you know 81 columns are very uh, very large so what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, uh, so we are going to make some changes in it uh, you will further see so here i have 81 columns id 12 type zone class lot frontage lot area and so many overall basement as you can see So yeah, in last we have a column name property sale price. Okay. So for uh, what I have done over here is that I have taken all the null values sum that are available in each column. So here uh, I have used this command df dot is null dot sum. So what it will do, it will get us all the uh, null values that we have in a column. So as you can see over here that load frontage has 320 LA has 1944 that's a lot you know it is very high uh, null value uh, let's see garage repair garage type much more okay uh, fireplace q so it is also very large sum 988 or uh, pool qc 2065 so it is more than nearly the values maybe uh, it is nearly two rows as uh, how many rows we have you can see 2073 rows we have and how many values it contains it contains 2065 values nearly all the rows and here fans uh, Fence also has so many and error values, null values. Sorry, misc feature. It also has so many. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to drop these columns. We are going to drop all the columns that have high values of error. Not these. These are very low. Uh, again, 14, 14. It is a very low number, no? We are going to drop all these uh, uh, which are more than half of the values or nearly half of the total rows that we have. So 1944, uh, 1988, 2065, So here I have dropped all the values. So I have dropped all these values, pull QC, fence, misc feature, fireplace, Q, LA. And I have given as X is equal to 1 because they are columns no? so we have to provide it with the axis so it will drop all the values as you can see that now uh, as we do it we have eight, uh, 77 columns uh, before we had how many 81 columns no? so how many we have dropped uh, four columns four columns or should be five maybe. Now we are checking the once again. I have taken the head of uh, five elements. 
from the data as you can see we can't see those columns that we have dropped okay so here i have described the data it will provide you with the mean standard deviation minimum value maximum value and the percentiles like 25 percentile 50th percentile 75 percentile okay so next command this command will actually do what that it will all it will drop all the null values uh, that uh, has no value it will drop them okay so next uh, you can see that now we have one second to execute it first yeah so as you can see now we have very so what is uh, df gonna do once again i'm gonna tell you is that it will drop all the null values uh, even a single element that has none value it will drop it okay so now we have a shape of uh, rows we have is triple one and 77 columns once again i'm gonna check uh, the 20 elements that we have so here you can see we have a very few number of columns left so here what i have done is uh, that i have taken x as x from data frame those columns which are independent okay these are independent variable so i have placed them there and stored it into x and y property sale price is independent so i have stored it in y now this command is used to split the data like 20 percent and 80 percent uh, 75 and 25 percent from the data that uh, 75 percent will go go to the train and rest of the 25 will go to the test it will split it in such a way so here we have applied this command from sklearn.model under source collection import train test split and here uh, we have done what that x train x test uh, y train y test equal to train test split x comma y test size 0.2 now uh, random state is doing to what that uh, it will store it uh, like uh, you have seen uh, numpy dot random dot seed yeah so actually we provide it with a number like one in the bracket so it will store that uh, array in a array uh, in that first location that uh, you can also send it to someone so if he needs to find the same array as you have then he will enter the same number over there okay uh, you uh, now we have this test size actually the test size is going to do but that it will split the data in 20 percent like if i take uh, over a 0.5 then the test data will be 50 percent over here okay so it's your wish whatever you want to take so here i have uh, explained the shape of the train and test data like you can see over here um, let me enter it once more so uh, as you can see train dot shape 8822 y train dot shape 88 uh, okay so this command is used to import a linear regression so it will import linear regression from sk uh, learn dot linear underscore model import linear regression okay so i have uh, taken a, over here a, a variable in red equal to linear regression okay so here i will execute it so here you can see so i have used this fit link that dot fit x train comma y train okay next so uh, Linlet dot coefficient. What it is going to do is that uh, it is going to print as you have seen the equation uh, beta zero plus uh, x beta one. Yeah. So what is it going to print is that it will print this x. Uh, sorry, uh, beta one. No coefficient. What it you call this coefficient beta two x one. Same as beta 2 x 3. So it is going to print these values, okay? Beta 0, beta 1, uh, x. Uh, beta 0 is uh, intercept, linear dot intercept. Okay, so it is the 
data zero value so what is the error over here object has no attribute intercept why is it showing this error on second i think i did not execute these equations second yeah so i forgot to execute this so now what we are going to do is that i should write beta zero value beta z so it is a beta zero value intercept okay so now what we are going to do is that we are going to predict the data using the test values so here we are going to predict y underscore predict equal to linrec dot predict x underscore test okay so now here is the prediction values okay test data now what we are going to do is that we are going to create a data frame for comparing the actual values of y uh, y test and y predictions okay y test uh, so as you can see comparison equal to we are going to do a data frame panda spirit or data frame here we have created a list zip y test comma y prediction comma columns equal to i have given the names actual and predicted okay let's execute them and see these are the actual values and these are predicted as you can see some values there is a lot different and some values there is very small difference yeah you can see this so next what uh, we are going to do is that we are going to find the uh, mean absolute error mean squared error and uh, rmse root mean square error so here i have used one more library from my skill learn import matrix we are going to import matrix now mean absolute error matrix dot mean underscore absolute underscore error here we have taken the y test value and y prediction so here we have this ma and mean squared error is here so execute it we have mean squared error value and the last one is rmsc so here we have root mean square and well okay so that's all guys thank you for watching bye bye have a good day